Well, the wife's in bed. It's like 7.30, 8 o'clock. So, uh, no tripod. I'm going to do some work. Hopefully put some engine case studs in here. Which, they're all cleaned up. They're in that bin right there. I just got to turn the power on way over there. using the tripod I'm going to use my hand here I've never used this camera in my hand like this before because it's so small and my hand is huge the eight studs on both sides the longest ones are go go in the bottom the best thing to do is your eight matching studs instantly you know they go on the bottom you have four really short ones those, those go in the top centers and anything left over goes in the outer edges except one of them I believe it's this one Maybe the other side on the side is really long. It's so long it has to go almost to the back of the case to catch any threads because it's recessed in a hole right here. This one, when I took it out, it came out. That's where it was. I know it's in the right place because it shows about three or four threads. If you notice, they all show about three or four threads. All right. Um, I don't have the, the lock on. But I have everything in. I gotta put these in with the. Uh, I've been using Permatex. Pull my gasket, Permatex. So just put a little bit on the thread, roll it around, and then screw it in, and you see what happens. You get that little black ring around the threads there. So I know that's pretty good. Here's my painted oil cool. All the corrosion is gone. I'm gonna take the shroud off to get it out of the way. That's the other one, Permatex. All right. I gotta take these out and put them back in with some Permatex and I'll be right back. All right, well, here's the deal. I had a lot of oil on my hands. I put that, uh, just the tool oil, just wiping it, wiping it inside to uh, keep everything wet. Put it on the rings, put it on the sleeve, put it on the ring compressor tool, which is nothing more than like a spring band. You know, it's a, you could use a, um, I've seen people use a, a hose clamp. I've seen people use strapping from like a pallet when they strap a pallet down. But it's a little tricky to do without the right one. And after you get it in there, you gotta get it out of there, so. There's two jugs. That was one of the bad pistons. Not really bad, just like lightly, lightly pitted on the top. This was the one that was stuck and it's back in the same jug even though the sleeve isn't the same one because it's from another engine. Um, this one wasn't bad, but this one's just like I said, it's got a bunch of little pit spots on the top. That shouldn't hurt anything. But uh, we have jugs and I don't dare turn it over because uh, I could pop them off. And I do have the brass gaskets in here. These came from uh, the original, this engine actually. I just cleaned them up nice, reused them. All the studs are permatexed in. Uh, they've been wire brushed and degreased a long time ago, so I, I really expect them to rust. I don't mind, they're going to be all covered up anyway. But if you know what I had before in here for nuts, then you know that this is super clean now. And at least the thing will cool down. I don't know if I'm shaking or the camera's shaking, but. These things are hard to hold. I got big hands, man. These things are tiny. I think I'm shaking. 
Well, either I'm getting old or the cameras are very sensitive. Why is it zooming in? You know, you touch one button and the thing kicks off. Anyway. I try not to make people dizzy, but I have to swing myself around too with this tiny little camera. I'm going to put the heads on and just lightly put these two nuts on just so the jugs don't pop out. Or, um, i got to check my deck height. Not hard to do. They're looking good though. But uh, that's about all I can do for tonight. Um, it's a lot of work getting those things in, especially alone. And I found if you um, you use your fingers and you get them where they got to go, you crimp, crimp the uh, band as much as you can by hand. And then put a pair of just like panel locks on it, or even needle nose. But it's pretty much a two-person job. I've done this before, believe it or not. Hold the two, get the needle nose on it, and tap the bottom, not the top. And then just work your way around once you get it going on. Once you see it going on. Once you get it going on. Get the hell off my head. This one's just, it's just the color really. There's nothing wrong with these pistons. That one's a little dirty at the top, but I'll clean them off. I come so far. All right, $40 engine. Let's see if it runs. Hit the key. Here's a frame. Nothing. All right, I am going to sit some heads on, a couple nuts, take some pictures, and then I am going in. These things have got to be the coolest looking engine on the planet when they're put together. I wish you didn't have to put the tins on it, but you have to, because without air this thing will burn up like nothing. If uh, I have seen people do like an open engine, but they put an electric fan on it underneath it or something. What an awesome engine. How nice and clean these are. That is it. The heads are sitting on with one nut. Not in a washer. Just so they don't fall off. I don't want them to fall off. Brand new plugs. That is it. I am going in. You have a good night. I'll take a bunch of pictures, like, right now. What kind of exhaust is that? That's the crazy expensive exhaust. Now, it's like 130 bucks. I forget something like that. Copper nuts. Copper nuts. Just sitting there. Um, I think it's got to be ridiculous. Ridiculous. You need the J tubes. They're hanging up right there. See the J tubes? Those are the tubes that come off the back, do a J, and go right into there. Crazy engine. Crazy engine. That looks good. Now, that is it. I am going in. You have a good night. I gotta take this off. It's not front heavy or nothing. It's on the stand. It's actually floating on the engine, so it's okay. Very excited. I don't zoom in. Don't zoom out. Very exciting day. Tomorrow we torque heads. Deck height, torque heads. Uh, what else? Oh, I'd love to find something that would do 253 foot pounds, but I'm working on that. Where are the brass nuts? Uh, I'm wondering if I have to put gasket something behind here. I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna when I pull the head off again, I'm gonna put Permatex just lightly around the jug and then pop it back in. Because all this stuff's gonna come off. My bid liner fan shroud looks the nuts. That's awesome. Word of the day is awesome. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Have a good night. Just give you a little picture of the how much nuts my Volkswagen engine thing. It's got a lot of nuts.
Holy crap. I'll go over here. I did blow some of this out, but wow. Look at the friggin' nuts. That's nuts. It's just nuts. It's so friggin' nuts. Wow. We'll get the oil cooler off next. <laughs> 